Hello, Greg Protenik here from Better Water Concepts. Did you know people concerned about fluoride in their drinking water sometimes ask, does boiling water remove fluoride? Unfortunately, the answer is no. In fact, boiling water will actually increase the concentration of fluoride in the water. This is because when you boil the water, some of the water escapes as steam and that leaves the same amount of fluoride but less water. And another thing you need to know is that all water that is untreated from lakes, rivers, streams, or even underground wells has some natural fluoride in it. And it's really not a bad thing unless that fluoride level is too high. In some places, the fluoride level is dangerously high, and the fluoride really does need to be removed. Where the problem comes in is back in the early 1900s, it was discovered that places that had this high level of fluoride in their drinking water had modeling on the enamel of their teeth. And this caused concern in a dentist and he sought about to investigate the situation and determined that it was an agent in the water. He didn't know what the agent was. Later it was uh, discovered by another dentist in the same general area that it was in fact fluoride. There were high levels of fluoride in the water and it was causing people to have mottled enamel on their teeth. And that discovery led to more investigation and found that there were some people that had a, l a fair amount of fluoride in the water and their teeth were perfect. I mean the children didn't have any cavities hardly at all. And then some that didn't have hardly any fluoride in the water, uh, the children would have a normal amount of cavities. And then too much fluoride caused modeling of the enamel. And so there was a lot of discussion, a lot of investigation, a lot of research went into this, and it was determined in 1963 that the optimal level of fluoride in the water was from 1.0 to 1.2 parts per million. And a lot of people, uh, the Dental American Dental Association pushed this, uh, and some other health agencies pushed it, to have cities or municipalities or water treatment systems add fluoride to the water if they didn't already have that 1.0 to 1.2 parts per million add enough fluoride to get the level up to that and that would save a lot of children from having too many cavities as they were growing up and that's all well and good but a lot of people found that that is uh, basically mass medica medita medication mass medicating, I'll get that right, and without consent of the people that are going to consume the medicine. And so that created quite, quite a disturbance. And what came to pass was that some people would like to find a way to remove fluoride from their water. And they thought that maybe boiling would help since a lot of times when there's a water main break or a low pressure si situation in a water system, the public officials will come out and, and issue what's called a boil order to boil the water and make it safe. That just boils out the bacteria that's in that could have gotten into the water to make sure that you don't get sick from uh, some kind of a disease causing bacteria. It does not purify the water. The, about the only way to really remove fluoride, well actually there's three ways. You can use a, an activated carbon filter and that is done with adsorption uh, and you can use a water pitcher, a water filter on, connected to your faucet, a water filter connected under your sink or a, a, a whole house filter. It, you just need to be sure that they claim that they can remove it and they can back it up with a reputable testing organization such as NSF, which is the National Science Foundation, or WQA, the Water Quality Association. So, 
activated carbon filters will work. Also, you can use uh, reverse osmosis. That will remove fluoride from the water. It's a little more expensive for the most part, but it is very effective. And you can also use a distiller. And you might think that that is the same as boiling. And it kind of is, only with a dis distillation process. You are boiling the water and capturing the steam, recondensing it back into water in another tank. Where and, and leaving behind all of the minerals, all of the chemicals, fluoride included, in the, pr in the tank that was heated. So activated carbon filter, probably the, the easiest one. And there's a number of filters, uh, filter water pitchers that you can get. And there's also, if you uh, uh, just be sure that you get the ones that say they can remove fluoride. So make sure you get one that says it can remove it because it's a different kind of filter than just um, well, it's a uh, it's a higher quality filter that does the fluoride removal, and um, that way you can be assured of getting rid of the fluoride. I know a lot of people are concerned about it, and that's the way to do it. Uh, don't deceive yourself into thinking just boiling the water is going to take care of it. Anyway, I hope that helps. Uh, thanks for listening and have a good day.